It ain't necessarily so. In this morning Saturday session, we are so excited about this Bill Murray. In his comedy classic Groundhog Day, nothing much changes for the character played by the actor and comedian. In contrast, Murray's career has been full of surprises, and the latest has him singing in a band comprised of classically trained musicians, not in a movie, but in real life. Hey, anybody see a ghost? He's been making us laugh for more than 40 years. How about a nice cool drink, varmints? From the early days of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> to his decades as a box office star. But now Bill Murray has found another way to entertain audiences by singing. It ain't necessarily so. The actor teamed up with famed cellist Jan Vogler to record the album New Worlds. It ain't necessarily so. Murray sings and reads American classics. He unbuckled his sword. Then he handed it to the astonished Lee. Accompanied by Vogler, along with pianist Vanessa Perez and violinist Mira Wang. And may you, in your innocence. The musical partnership began when Murray and Vogler met on a flight from Berlin to New York in 2013. Three years later, New Worlds was born. Let's go out with something really hot for these folks. A big hit out of 77. Murray's fans have seen him sing before. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Whether it was his character, Nick the Lounge Singer, from SNL. As I walk through this wicked world. The karaoke scene from his Oscar-nominated role in Lost in Translation. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Or his performance as Baloo the Bear in the live-action remake of Disney's The Jungle Book. Okay, cut and just this week, he performed another American classic during his beloved Chicago Cubs playoff game. As Murray told CBS Sunday Morning, with New Worlds and his new musical partners, it's a whole different ball game. By myself in the shower, I'm just as good as anyone else in the shower, but when, well, better than some maybe, but on the stage with these three, I'm elevated.